I don't know if you can see it, but the wind's going this way and the tide's coming out that way at about a knot. And look at and the this boat. Yeah. So, wow, yeah, no wonder we had a lot of fun trying to get in here. So we were in here, literally, in this little spot here, trying to do our best to try and actually make way into the pontoons there. We just couldn't get Raggy to move. She was just stationary because of the wind. We got locked between wind and tide and she wouldn't turn, she wouldn't turn at all. I had to start the manoeuvre here, get a huge speed before we were able to turn. And because we're getting flowed that way, we're always, we're always ending up there on that bunch of boats there. And our prop walks that way as well, so that wasn't helping prop either. Was that way as well. The wind wasn't helping us as soon as we got into the shelter of the other boats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But we got in. Got in. A five. <laughs> welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome aboard our floating home rideo. I'm Daria, this is Chris, and that's Jasper, and these are our three seaworthy dogs, Hachi, Luna, and Mimi. We're just an ordinary family navigating life one sail at a time. In June 2023, we left Scotland behind with no plan to return. We live, sail, and work full time all while cruising Europe, for now. Every wave tells a story, and every sail brings us closer to the unknown. We invite you to be part of our adventure as we share our experiences, insights and the ups and downs of living life on a boat. So, sit back, relax, enjoy and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So the working day has just finished. It is Halloween today. And we are just about to leave Aimonte. So we've just left the marina and we're on to Mazagon today, which is a short, what, 30 mile hop? something like that? 28. 28. 20 mile hop. Um, we're going to be in a marina there or at Anka depending whether the marina confirms or not. And then tomorrow we will be moving on to towards Cadiz. We've got a marina book there for a couple of nights as there's a bit of a weather coming through that's not exactly ideal and we don't want to be out in. So we're going to sit there for a couple of nights before we then move on to Barbate and start making plans to get across and across Gibraltar and into the Mediterranean. Boring. No. weather window to move today but it is all on the nose so there'll be no sailing there'll be no motor sailing there's no nothing we're just motoring for the next five hours so we're gonna stop filming and catch up when we get to where are we going Mazagon let's go Mazagon hours have passed, we're still motoring, we've got a little while to go yet, but check out the sunset. Well, it's 8.30 at night and we're almost there. So we arrived in Mazagon last night, about what nine, ten o'clock at night, something like that. We stayed the night on the wonderful waiting pontoon, and it's time to move on today, and we're going to Cadiz, finally. <laughs> So 
so we left Mazagon and arrived in Port of Sherry because Cadiz was full yesterday and we sit on the, on the waiting pontoon overnight um, because we were out quite late but uh, my goodness it is so windy today it comes and goes in huge waves and we're getting 30 knot gusts here and there so we're gonna stay in the marina for probably two or three nights until the weather settles down before we make way towards Barbate. It is so windy! So we're all checked in. We need to go to the boat to a different pontoon off the waiting pontoon, which is literally right in the breakwaters. And hope for the best. started raining. What a great day. Are you excited? No. It's a bit moody this morning. The rest of the day was pretty wet and windy, so we decided to have a quiet day, make some crepes and relax. However, the autumn weather didn't last long and the following day turned out to be absolutely beautiful. So we ventured out to explore Puerto Sherry and Puerto de Santa Maria. Good afternoon, we are out for a little walk today. We are spending the week in the marina because the weather is less than favourable and I have to fly out for work on Thursday. So, we're hanging about and exploring um, Puerto Sherry and Puerto de Santa Maria. And we're just out for a little forest walk with the dogs, which they haven't had in a long time, so they'll be buzzing. So there's a little forest right outside the marina here and it's, um, it's meant to be quite a nice hike it's lovely it's clear those can get a good run around plus it keeps you out of the sunshine a little bit and despite being 5th 6th 7th november i don't know what day today is it's really warm mimi has found the bench as always why is there no She's... food here <laughs> So back when we lived in Scotland, we had multiple forests on our doorstep and I always loved going there for a little walk in the morning with the dogs and it was kind of part of our routine. And as much as I've loved all the beaches and sunshine and parks and everything else, we haven't really been to any forests along the way um, or anything like this. So it's really quite a nice, um, different, refreshing thing to do. And I'm delighted that it's so close to the marina because we're here for the next week, which means the doggies can get plenty of good walkies. Not everywhere we have been has um, been as dog friendly and there's not been as many opportunities for actually walk them in places, so. Dario, what's the best cure for seasickness? <laughs> Standing under a tree. <laughs> well, you see the punchline. <laughs> It's really interesting. It's really, really layered and really, really soft. And no idea what a tree it is. This sort of crumbles under under your finger. Not that. I mean, it's dead. It's coming off in chunks, but I wonder what it is. It's a lovely forest. We figured out that these are um, stone pines or Mediterranean um, pines of some variety. They're quite different. It smells 
gorgeous in here apart from the little bit of um, sewage plant that's over there <laughs> hear the waves it smells beautiful it's just fresh forest and pine and you can hear the beach what a cool place So should we go and get some sort of a drink and a snack before we continue? They just managed to score an olive each. <laughs> The situation has oh. been fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Smile. rely on Luna to roll in junk once she's out of the sea. <laughs> the stay of that dog. It's worse than the courtyard. So we've had some ice cream, had some beers and we're now taking a little stroll along the beach. We're going to see what's over at the next breakwater and then we'll head back to the boat again through the forest. But um, what a lovely place it is. It's so nice. It's so sunny and it's so warm! It's, um, you've had a few days of rain and having the sunshine back is kind of like, yay! Watch your huge heat. I think we'll take a wee stroll down that way. Yeah. 
So given that Cadiz was fully booked out when we inquired about the space, we either had the option of Puerto de la Santa Maria and Puerto Sherry. And we kind of ended up going to Puerto Sherry because Chris wasn't all keen going up the river, like that. But now we're coming here to have a little look around to see what it looks like. I'm fed up going up marina, uh, rivers up marinas <laughs> in Portugal. It's, uh, it's been interesting, to say the least. Especially when we're on springs and you're combining the weather. Yeah. So, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> it was a little bit lumpy and washing machine like at times. Yeah, a plain old marina with no river in it. It suit me <laughs> down to the ground. <laughs> it's getting a bit moody about them. But even if I do say so myself, I love this. I wish we came here. It's actually quite. It's closer to the uh, to the town. There's actually things around here and shops, and I can buy some more shoes. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, awful, pretty. It? It's and it's much more calm than Puerto Sherry because we're actually rolling around in the marina quite a lot. But here, it looks fairly calm. Uh, Have a look. There is a little bit of tide that's visible, but in general. It seems to be much smoother here than at Puerto Sherry. Yeah. So where we are, it's quite a bit of a walk into Puerto de Santa Maria. So I think tomorrow I might get a taxi in because it's about a 45 minute walk from where we are in the marina to the actual town. Um, but I think we'll go have a little explore. Just making our way back into one of the forest paths, hopefully. <laughs> Oh man, you nearly cratered. <laughs> I think I pulled that Oh my word. To think I pulled that. I'm a cat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh -huh. No. I don't like gym. I like silk. The square peg goes in the square hole, Daria. <laughs> Did you seriously press that thinking it was a button doing something? Oh, my back crap. That was good. We need one of these. Oh, my back crap. What plonkers. We'll have to put up with. And... Smart <laughs> Around a bit more gracefully than I have. Yeah. Oh, do you goodbye. I'm taking glasses. Keep in the head. Chris, mm -hmm. I like your bag. Thank you. <laughs> Very fashionable. <laughs> what the rules? The bag really makes it. Back in the forest now and en route back to Raggy. Just compare me to a cactus. Death will do us part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did marry it. I swear to God. 
and we're out of the forest back near the marina. What a nice wee walk that was. Snack time! Oh, oh, hey! Pina colada! <laughs> you like? That's a pina colada, isn't it's it? It's not. What is it? Ah, it's a surprise. I just drank it. Not too fast, though. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Slain! <laughs> for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and till next time